a middleweight matchup between the Brit, Michael, the Count Bisbee, and the Olympian, Dan Henderson. The possessor of what fans like to call the H-bomb, Dan Henderson, the two-time U.S. Olympic wrestler, is known for having one of the most lethal overhand rights in mixed martial arts history. And if you don't believe me, just ask Michael, the Count Bisping. Dan Henderson is as dangerous opponent as you could face. An Olympic level wrestler with knockout power in both hands. He also has been competing at a championship level in this sport since 1999. Dan Henderson enters the octagon and he's ready to fight. The Ultimate Fighter Season 3 winner, the Brit, Michael, the Count Bisbee. A championship kickboxer in his late teens, he has truly evolved into a complete mixed martial artist. Michael Bisbee has been in the UFC since 2006, and he wants to lead with a legacy that will be remembered forever. Michael Bisping combines ridiculous cardio with a really underrated ground game, very solid boxing, and a true love of mixed martial arts to make him amongst the best in the world at 185 pounds. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. Henderson is eight years his elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Greco-Roman wrestler holding the national record of 32 wins, 14 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, Dan Henderson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist on the professional record of 30 wins, 7 losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England! Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, Michael! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. You ready? You ready? Here Swing. we go! Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Henderson. Black trunks for Bisbee. Man, Joe, the first time these two met, there, there had been so much talk, and they were coaches on the Ultimate Fighter show against each other. UFC 100, July of 2009. Dan Henderson, I mean, absolutely turning in one of the most vicious knockouts in UFC history against Michael Bisping. Yeah, he dominated and destroyed Michael Bisping. Just chased him around the octagon, blasted him, and put him away with one of the most vicious knockout punches and then subsequent... Oh, a huge suplex! Now he's in full guard. Back to their feet. And a good counter with a straight right. Both men throwing frequently. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. Nice jab. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. He's moving to the left, avoiding his opponent's big left hand. And another head kick lands. His opponent needs to defend. Absolutely. <laughs> Joey did a nice job blocking that punch. Big hook. 
And he looks for the takedown. The Olympian, Hendo. Dan Henderson with the takedown. Back up to his feet again. What a great job blocking that huge knee. Caught him with a punch. Bisping with a strong combination. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Big oh, shot. that was a hard Back one. Back and forth battle. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Hard straight punch. Strong jab. He is getting off some huge punches here. Big right hand by Bisping. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Nasty combinations here. Big power jab. Look at this. Oh, nasty right hand. Oh, and another jab. Oh, he's going for it here. He blocks the punt. Oh, double jab. Back and forth battle. <laughs> Nicely done. Henderson connects, and we all remember what he did to Michael Bisping. He just whips that punch in. Dan Henderson with the clinch. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum clinch. Oh, tries for a flying knee. Huge block. Joe, so take a listen to the support that Michael Bisping is getting here tonight in his home country. And again, he takes him down. Full guard here. That swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. <laughs> Trying to get a single. And now he's down. Good elbow by Bisbick. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Nice. Big oh, right hand. Beautiful right hand. Oh, big shot from the He's top. He's going to finish it right here. Big punch. Beautiful body shot there, too. He connects with the head kick. Body kick, look at that. Oh, oh, big right hand clipped him. Solid jab. Oh, what an exchange. Boy, he is swinging for the fences. Big straight punch. Oh, Joe, another strong jab. Right on the side. is complete. Dan Henderson's cut on that eye. Doesn't look any better after this one. It doesn't look any better, and it's going to continue to get worse unless he can tighten up his defense. Here we see a beautiful takedown. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here is another very nice takedown. Jenny, give me a set for round two. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Go round play. two. Dan Henderson's tenacity to take his opponent down at will was very impressive that round. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue to do it. Yes, a very dominant round for him, Mike. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not he can keep that pace up. Bisping with a good left. Wow! He is hurt here! that hook he connects with the left. big shots combination oh that one hurt him 
Trying to take the back here. Oh, nice right big hand. right hand. Vicious ground and foul. That's it, he's out. Hit he's out. Over. Wow. Michael Bisping by knockout. Man. KO by ground and pound. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Let's take a look at it again. Great angle here. And he's out. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Michael the Count Bisping. Michael the Count Bisping, winner by knockout. It's a flyweight matchup between Justin Scoggins and Patrick, the hooligan Hulahan. Patrick Hulahan, coming off a great training camp and feels outstanding. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world at holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. Patrick Houlihan looking for a victory in the octagon tonight. Justin Scoggin. He is looking for a dominant victory as he works his way towards the octagon. This guy has outstanding defense. And having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. Justin Scoggins, set to fight Patrick. Our tale of the tape for this flyweight fight. Houlihan is four years his elder. He is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Fighting at the corner. Mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! Patrick the Hooligan Hooligan! And now he's his opponent. Fighting at the right corner. A karate fighter holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a Spartanburg, South Carolina, Justin Tank Scoggins! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Here we go! Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Black trunks for Houlihan. White trunks for Sky. Nice leg kick. Houlihan with a punch that connects. Great job landing a series of punches. Got him with a right. And he lands it to the leg. Nice shot. Tries for a low single. 
He takes him down early. And he connects here. He escapes and he's back on his feet. He's able to block the punch. Oh, nice inside leg kick. He got tagged there. That right hook misses. And he connects These here. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. He avoids damage with the nice block. He's been really effective with his jab here, Joe. In full guard. He's back up again. Head kick. Nicely done. Good connection with the straight by Skyglass. Houlihan gets the takedown. Strong elbow by Houlihan. He's really landing some very solid elbows. That's a big punch to the head from the top. Nice. Big Huge elbow. elbow. How good was that? Oh, big shot from the top. Solid right hand. And oh, again. Big one. Houlihan's looking to advance to half guard. work from the bottom. Really good movement on the ground. Damage left, left hand. hand. Oh, that's a big left. He's got, got both hooks, hooks in. in. Joe, this is dangerous. Oh, he jumps on a rear naked choke. He escapes the rear naked choke. Uh-oh. He mounts. He's got that arm trapped. Nice sweep. Now he's in the car. He's looking to take the back. He's back in the full guard now. He moves to full guard here. And again, he gets back on his feet. Misses the takedown. That head kick hurt him. Scoggins' right eye is looking pretty swole. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. He landed a couple good shots here. He continues to connect with those punches. That's another big head kick, Joe. I don't know how many more his opponent can take. Uppercut. Under a minute. On the clock here in round number one. Left hand. Oh, oh huge there's uppercut. That big uppercut. Oh! Whoa! This could be it right here. 45 seconds. knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Time now for our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly hurt badly here. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. Boom! And he's out. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round.
Join the winner by knockout, Patrick the Hooligan Houlihan. Patrick Houlihan, victorious with the knockout. It's a middleweight showcase between Nick Diaz and the young Canadian star, Rory McDonald. Born in beautiful British Columbia, Rory McDonald, one of the most promising young talents to ever fight in the UFC. Rory made his UFC debut back in January of 2010 when he was just 20 years old and had a record of 9-0 with nine finishes. Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald is one of the most technically sound fighters in the UFC today. He is also one of the best of the new breed of young fighters who have learned from the beginning in a full spectrum of mixed martial arts techniques instead of relying on any one individual discipline. A true mixed martial arts veteran and one of the most durable fighters in UFC history, Nick Diaz, the Caesar Gracie Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, shuns the spotlight and craves only combat. The former Strike Force welterweight champion is back to showcase his skills tonight. Nick Diaz has some of the best cardio and the best chin the world of mixed martial arts has ever seen. The former Strike Force champion is still amongst the elite of the elite at 170 pounds. Nick Diaz set to fight Rory McDonald. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. McDonald is 26, Diaz is 32. The rest is virtually identical. And once again, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal! Jiu-Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 9 losses, and 2 no contests. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee for this middleweight bout. Here tonight in London, England. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for McDonald. Black trunks for Diaz. One thing to look out for in this fight are the counter shots of Rory McDonald. He is excellent at catching opponents as they try to close the distance. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. Got the Muay Thai clinch. Knees are coming. Got the over under here. Good shoulder strikes there. Double underhooks here. Trying to get an advantage here in the clinch. Big roundhouse kick. Joe, you can hear Frost a hobby. Reminding Rory McDonald to keep his hands up. Trying to get this fight down to the ground. Dominance. Close. Oh, big one. Wrestling dominance. Now to full guard. McDonald with a good connection. Man, that right eye has really started to swell shut. Good left hand by McDonald. Very nice timing with these shots here. 
That jab is lightning fast. Huge uppercut misses. He did a nice job blocking the head kick. Hard kick to the head. Big straight punch. He and off. Oh, nice. There's another one. These are powerful knees. He hurt him with that punch from the clinch. Oh, oh the knee. Joey's able to connect with another big knee. He oh, lands a huge knee. knee. Vicious knee. He lands a head kick. Hard straight punch. Big shots. Solid shot to the body. Superman punch. And stuffed nicely done by Diaz. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Nice body shot from the bottom by McDonald. He's got some space now, he's posturing up. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He moves to full guard here. He's getting off some very nice grounded pound here. Seconds left in the round. Oh, right he locked him with that right hand. Let's see what he can do from here. Hurt him with that right. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Diaz with the lead kick. And a good jab. Oh, he just snapped that kick. Nice jab. Oh. Combination. Wow, swing and a miss. McDonald's eyes looking really swollen. You've got to wonder whether or not it's actually a fractured orbit. Oh, There's big kick again, Joe. 30 seconds. Oh, stunning jab. Good combination. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. He hurt him with that hook. Oh, big head kick from Roy. Good combination by Diaz. Big straight punch. Back and forth battle. Oh, that's a vicious knee to the body. Caught him with a big right hand. Swing and a miss. Oh, that one hurt him. Right. The horn sounds for the end of round number one. Wow, this is already my top pick for fight of the night. These guys are throwing everything they have at each other. Striking, grappling, you name it. That is a round that MMA fans will be talking about for quite some time. And here's a big slam. Nice technique. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Very exciting round. The beautiful Ariani. Are you ready? Are you ready? Round two now underway. Joe, we saw a bit of action in the first round. They're getting each other's timing down, starting to figure out the distance, and I think they're going to get after it now. Man, he really turned on that inside leg kick. Caught him with a right hand. Man, Joe, he's connecting with those punches. McDonald with a nice kick. Oh, solid jab. Swing and a miss. 
He's been really effective with his jab here, Joe. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Oh, huge kick to the midsection. McDonald with a good straight. Trying to get that clinch. Here we take a look at some of the numbers for Rory McDonald, landing 54% of his kicks. Good lead right by McDonald. Both men landing in that exchange. Vicious kick to the body by McDonald. He's got him hurt! with some solid kicks. Man, Joe, he's really setting things up with those feints. Oh, he connected with that right hand. This fight very well may be stopped in between rounds just because of the blood loss, Mike, because that is extraordinary. Joe, good front kick. Nice jab by Nick. Looks for that front kick, but missed it. Big front kick, nice nicely front done. Kick. Rory McDonald's continuing to attack that bad eye. He certainly is targeting it, and the more that eye swells, the less his opponent's going to be able to see the punches coming. Really good movement on the ground. Oh, oh big right hand. The right hand. Oh, some heavy shots from the top. He's got the full mount, Joe. Good pro fighters always move well side to side. And he's down! Nick Diaz getting all kinds of love from that crowd. He's hurt, Mike. That was loud. Oh. Joe, that was a brutal knee to the body. Oh, he's landing some good shots here. Powerful strikes! Vicious shots to the body! Boy, he is swinging for the fences. He's able to block the punch. His nose is pouring blood, Mike. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. He's got over and under here. Nice knee to the body. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Elbows, calm down. Calm down. They are really battling for position in the clinch. Almost caught him. And he connects. And looking for the takedown again. He got tagged there. Good combination, Joe. Excellent head movement. That jab, extremely effective throughout this entire fight. Huge kick to the head, Lance. Oh, head kick. Oh. Strong jab. Now he's and there's the big takedown. Now he moves to full guard. They have fought for 10 minutes. That's the end of round number two. Let's take another look at some of the action from that round. Joe, that cut is looking worse. Rory McDonald's bleeding from his nose. That's a nasty thing to happen because when your nose is bleeding like that, you start opening up your mouth, and that leaves you susceptible to getting knocked out. And let's see if we could get a better look at that from this angle. 
Watch your breath. Heart rate's going down. Breathe. Doing good, man. Doing good. Now listen to me. Let's give him some air. Let's give him some air. You're letting him control the center too much. That's one thing. Not one thing down to the next. Carly getting a set for round three. Change his stance. He blocks the punch. Look at this. And he's teeing off. Trying to time a straight right. He tags him with the left. He caught him with the head kick. Vicious combinations. Oh, and he lands the head kick. And a big right hook yes. by Nick Diaz. There's a nice straight by McDonald. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum clinch. Wow! Beautiful hook! Again with a knee. Damaging knees. Oh, that's a vicious knee. Hard shot from the clinch. minutes remain in this third and final round they're working hard here in the clinch caught him with a punch Diaz with the double J wow what a back and forth exchange failed attempt back up there oh, it is. look at that Solid jab. Head kick. Nicely done. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Man, he has landed so much damage that both of his eyes have started to swell now. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. And again, he's back into side control. Nick Diaz is clearly losing this fight, so he needs to continue to look for that submission to try to pull off the victory. He needs a submission. He's not going to win a decision. There's no doubt about that. He got caught, Mike. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. Diaz with the single leg takedown. Vicious elbow. elbow. There go. Oh, look at that transition. Oh, big shot. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. <laughs> Back to his feet again. Amazing. Oh, that's a vicious kick. He connects with the head kick. Oh, and he eats a nice knee. Those are nasty knees. Oh, another vicious knee. Oh, that's a damaging knee. 
He is throwing some brutal wow. knees. Oh. That's oh. it. He's out. My he is just out. Wow. What a knockout. Man. Beautiful shot to end the fight here. Outstanding knockout. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at this huge knee that causes the knockout. Right on the money, and that's the end of this fight. Let's see it from a different angle here. Massive power and torque behind that knee, and as soon as it lands, that is a wrap. Check it out again. Boom! Right on the button. And Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz wins by knockout. between Ashlyn Daly and Beck Rowdy Raw. Beck Raw is very focused, very prepared for this fight. She said she's had a great training camp in fields she cannot be defeated. This girl has ridiculous hand speed. It is one of her best assets and one of the most terrifying things. She can hit you before you can hit her. And she can also get out of the way before you can hit her. It's a terrifying thing fighting someone who has the kind of hand speed that she possesses. sharp with her skills and is really looking to impress tonight and earn a big UFC victory. This girl has amazing top control. She is so good at keeping the fight on the ground. Once she gets you there, it is very rare that you see her lose positions. She's just so strong in the top position. Ashley Daly set the fight in the octagon against Beck Wall. Tail of the tape for this strawweight fight. Rawlings is 27. Daly is 28. Rawlings is four inches taller. The reach is identical. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The mixed martial artist holding professional record of seven wins, five losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, Rowdy Beck Rollins. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. She stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of the Ashling, Ash the Bash Daly. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee for this strawweight battle here tonight in London, England. And here we go. Our fight tonight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Rawlins. Black trunks for Daly. Man, beautiful front kick. Nice jab. Good striking. Man, that jab's really effective. Here. Solid shot with the left by Daly. Looking for the single. Oh, my goodness, how quick was that, Joe? Back on their feet. Joe, she's changed her stance. Teeing off. 
Now they're turning it up. Her striking is outstanding with that. Nice jab. Great technique. That hook was blocked. I'm gonna try to complete the takedown again. And Joe, there's another nice takedown. Outstanding job with the takedowns tonight. And she's back up again. Joe, I wouldn't be surprised if she looks for another takedown. Nice jab. Great job landing a series of punches. Found a home for that. Oh, there beautiful combination. And there's that takedown attempt. And there it is, just like we mentioned, another takedown. She's back up again. Good job blocking the punch. They are exchanging here, Mike. Joe, she's really on point with her strikes tonight. Oh, oh. big right hand. Nice takedown. Just over three now. Rawlings goes to the half guard. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. And she's back up again. Able to just get out of the way. Good leg kick by Rawlings. Connected there. Nice There's that leg kick. kick. One. Good job of timing strikes here. Strong right by Rawlings. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, There's big head kick. kick. Joe. Oh, what an exchange. Good inside leg kick. Joe, she has set a frenetic pace early and doing a great job connecting, scoring, and doing some damage. They got to pick up the pace or they're going to stand them up. It's pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Referee's going to stand them up. She switches up her stance here. Clean punt. And a combination connects. Joe, she's got to be careful. She's eaten so many jabs tonight. Big oh. shot to the head. She's stunned. She's Trying hurt. Trying to stay out of trouble here. Hard hook. Big combination. Oh, over the top. Strong jab. Oh, big combination. Wow. Landed a gigantic kick for the knockout. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's take another look at the huge roundhouse kick that ended this fight. As soon as it lands, this contest is over. Let's look at that from another angle. Take a look at this from a different angle. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Evil Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 57 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ashling, Ash the Bash Daly! Ashling Daly, winner by knockout.
talk about it. No Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Chris, the All-American Wideman, and the longtime middleweight champion, Anderson, the Spider Silva. The Spider Silva, the most decorated champion in UFC history. He opened up his octagon career 16 and 0. Born and raised in Curitiba, Brazil, the Spider was part of the great shootbox team under the guidance of Rafael Cordero with teammates like Vanderlei Silva and Mauricio Shogun Hua. Silva comes into the octagon with a striking advantage over every opponent he faces, Mike. He's got pinpoint accurate strikes, a truly demoralizing counterfighting game, and he can knock you out with either hand. Chris Weidman, the first man to knock out Anderson Silva, and it came in Silva's 38th professional fight. Utilizing his Division I All-American wrestling skills, he is ever-evolving with his striking game and is one of the biggest and strongest fighters at 185 pounds. Chris Weidman is an outstanding wrestler, a multiple-time All-American with a great chin, knockout power, and a sensational submission game. Chris Weidman enters the octagon, ready to go to battle in the UFC's middleweight division. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Weidman is 31, Silva is 40. Weidman will have a one-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer, as you did fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider-Steel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean, our Ready. referee. Ready. And we are underway. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Anderson Silva. Black trunks for Wyden. Anderson Silva has some vicious kicks. Oh! Weidman with a nice straight right to the body. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Nice right hand. Oh, oh head kick. With the kick. Oh, head kick. And again, he lands it. Big straight punch. Good combinations. Oh, he's landing at will. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Oh, that one hurt him. Oh, good combination. Powerful jab. He connects with the head kick. Both men came out hard. Oh, he tagged him. 
that one got him. He's in big, big Whoa. trouble. Oh. And he goes down. He's in big trouble here. Oh, he's out. And it is oh. all over. Anderson Silva by knockout. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Let's see it again. Great angle here. And he's out. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop in this contest at 1 minute, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anderson the Spider! Silva! Anderson the Spider Silva, victorious with the knockout. It's a featherweight matchup between Jose Aldo and Team Alpha Males, Chad Mendez. He is the 2008 Pac-10 Wrestler of the Year, the two-time Division I All-American, Chad Money Mendez. He has competed in professional mixed martial arts since 2008. Uriah Faber calls Chad Mendez the most gifted athlete to ever represent our gym and compete in the UFC. Chad Mendez is amongst the elite in the world at 145 pounds with ridiculous wrestling technique, speed, athleticism, as well as being a part of Alpha Male, one of the best lightweight teams in the sport today. The Brazilian, Jose Aldo. He grew up on the tough streets in Manaus, Brazil, started his martial arts training in Capoeira, then trained lots of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He moved to Rio de Janeiro at age 17 and literally slept on the mat and has evolved into one of the greatest fighters in UFC history. Jose Aldo is one of the most explosive and dynamic fighters in the UFC. His leg kicks are second to none, and he has the ability to finish a fight in a fraction of a second. Jose Aldo set to go to bat with Chad Money Mendez. Tale of the tape for this featherweight showdown. The Brazilian is 29. The American is 30. Aldo will have a four-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Chad Money Mendez! And now he's using his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee for this featherweight fight here tonight in London, England. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Mendez. Black trunks for Alba. 
Jose Aldo's got a huge reach advantage in tonight's fight, Joe. Oh, he's taking some punishment here early, Joe. Locks up the plum. Oh, nice. Oh, oh big knee. Swing and a miss. Solid jab. Unbelievable. Oh, beautiful takedown. He's looking to work that mounted crucifix. Mendez is back inside control. Big punch. And they're up. Inside leg kick. Big punch. Oh, oh head kick. The kick. He connects with the left. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Nice head kick. Big oh, nice knee. Wow! What a statement that man just made! Big right hand punch for the KO. Let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Here we see it again. And he's out. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jose Aldo Jose Aldo wins by knockout. It's a welterweight matchup between Tyron Woodley and Robbie Lawler. Once considered to be the Mike Tyson of mixed martial arts, ruthless Robbie Lawler made his UFC debut at 20 years old back in May of 2002. A longtime member of Team Militant, who was also trained with American Top Team, ruthless Robbie Lawler is one of the most fabulous finishers to ever enter the octagon. This guy loves to sprawl and brawl, Mike. He trains a lot on his wrestling defense and is extremely difficult to take down. Great reflexes, great balance. Plus, he has the ability when it's on the ground to just stand up and put the fight right back on the feet. Tyron Woodley, the chosen one, an outstanding collegiate wrestler who has proven to be a very dangerous mixed martial artist. Very compact, powerful, and he has heavy hands. Tyron Woodley likes to use his wrestling in reverse. They call it sprawl and brawl. Keep the fight on the feet and look for the knockout. He's trained extensively on his wrestling, specifically his takedown defense for this fight, Mike. This is a guy who's extremely difficult to put on his back, and if you do get him there, he's very good at just popping right back up to his feet. If he wants this fight to stay on his feet, it will.
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 27 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an ex martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. You ready to fight? Ready. And Good. here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Lawler. Black trunks for Woodley. Such a long journey for Robbie Lawler. And in so many ways, he is so much better than ever. Absolutely. He, of course, lived in Iowa for years, in Bettendorf. He has a great wrestling base as well. But his takedown defense has really improved dramatically since he went to American Top Team. Just the, the full array of coaching staff that they have available to him there has really changed his game, as well as the insistence on him sparring. He went six years without sparring, which is pretty incredible. Nice movement on the ground. He's back up. Joey did a nice job blocking that punch. Tags him. Man, he's really mixing things up nicely, isn't he? He's being unpredictable, that's for sure, and that is important. Oh! Joe, his jab, very effective in the fight. Nice job keeping those hands busy. He tags him with the lead left. Oh, that's a big head tip. Strong jab. Oh, combination. How good is this? Big punches landing. Down. Back up again. Big left hand. Hit him hard hook. with that hook. Landing some big punches here. Oh. Head kick. Joe, he's looking for the one punch knockout here. Under three on the clock, round one. Dive oh, that's in, a huge shot to the with head. That punch. Strong elbow by Woodley. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Oh, Nasty elbow. man, that is rough. Now he's in full guard. He connects with the left. And oh, again. Big one. Powerful left hand. He's back up again. Looking for a takedown. Quick jab. Both men landing in that exchange. There he goes with a one-two. Flag knee. The knee. Just over two remain. That eye swole up so quick, Mike. You gotta wonder whether or not that's a fractured orbital. Swing and a miss with the big right. He just whips that punch. Nice combination. Lawler with the takedown. Woodley gets back up again. Just missed with the straight left. Good jab. Oh, he caught him. Lawler with the combination. Oh, head kick to kick. He oh. scores with a huge left. Hard left hand by Robbie. Big power jab. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Really good movement on the ground. Oh, what a huge 
huge right hand. He transitions to full mount. That's a big right hand. Back up to his feet again. That head kick hurt him. Good defense, and he counters with a jab. Joey's really come out aggressive and doing a great job of connecting with his combinations early. Nice knee to the body. Oh, that one hurt him. Big combination. Half guard. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Once again, here's our fight replay. And here it is again, another angle. Check it out here. Bam! Nighty night. And with the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. Woodley wins by knockout. Coming up next, it's a welterweight showcase between Nate Diaz and longtime top contender Carlos Condit. Natural-born killer Carlos Condit possesses a fighting style that validates his moniker. A proven finisher, he is the last WEC welterweight champion and the former interim UFC welterweight champion, who is an equal opportunity finisher, stopping his opponents in every way possible. Carlos Condit has excellent technique, Tremendous will and heart, outstanding cardio, as well as a history of success among some of the best fighters in the sport. Stockton, California. Meet Diaz, the younger brother of longtime competitor Nick. Both men are black belts in Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Diaz loves to put on a show. He's very active with his striking, and if he gets his opponent to the mat, he has multiple ways to finish the fight. Nate Diaz is a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter with an impressive record of submission victories. He's also got a very active and effective boxing style. Look for him to throw a huge number of strikes while this fight is on the feet. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. Condit is one year his elder. Diaz will have a one-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, the natural. And 
down and twist his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nick! Herb Dean, our referee for this welterweight fight here tonight in London, England. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Condit. Black trunks for Diaz. Joe Carlos Condit, professional kickboxing experience. He finishes opponents. He's got a lot of knockouts and a lot of submission wins on his resume. Yeah, very well-rounded and intelligent fighter, capable of knocking guys out or submitting them. Just a real solid threat at 170 pounds. Oh, oh big job. That hurt him. Very good exchanges here. Oh, he caught him. Welcome to the jungle. Early in the fight, they clinch. Yeah, look for the single. Condit gets the takedown here early. Oh, look at that. Get that back to his feet. Nice work on the counter. You can hear that one. And that jab's really effective. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. You can hear Greg Jackson in the corner of Carlos Condit, reminding him to keep his hands up. Clean, straight punch. Look at this. Nice job blocking those strikes. Trying to find the range. Nice le left kick to the body. Good jab. Man, he's really mixing things up nicely, isn't he? He's being unpredictable, that's for sure, and that is important. Another good strike. Oh, big, big head kick, kick. jump. Strong jab. Oh, what an exchange. Beautiful body shot there, too. Oh, he's going for it here. Oh, head kick. Big straight punch. Man, he just missed. Oh, that one hurt him. Nicely done. Half guard. And oh, the big right hand. hand. Big shot! And he turns it around into full guard. And he's softening him up with elbows. That Vicious was a elbow nasty lands to the elbow. head. His left eye is closing up. Neat with a solid jab. Both men landing in that exchange. Nice hands, really connecting with the punches. Big swing and a miss by Neat. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. And Joe, there's another nice takedown. Outstanding job with the takedowns tonight. Yep, no doubt about that one. Joey might be looking to take the fight to the ground once again. And he's eating some shots. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. There he goes up the middle. Sneak caught again. Great job blocking that punch. Nice jab by Diaz. Good roundhouse. And another head kick lands. His opponent needs to defend. Condit with a big jab. And he pulls away. Continuing to strike well. Head kick. Nicely done. Taken down again by Condit. One minute remains in the round. Punishing roundhouse kick. Wants the single. Oh, and down. Diaz goes into North-South. Right to 
the half guard. Let's see what he can do from here. Big oh, left that hand. That was a hard one, Mike. Oh, some heavy shots from the top. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Oh, that's a big kick. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Good combinations. Oh, big shot. What a way to work at the finish of this round. Man, he's taking some damage. Carlos Condit's eyes are really starting to swell. Both of those eyes are starting to swell shut, Mike. This is starting to get dangerous. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here is another very nice takedown. Amazing highlights from that round. Take control of it now. Take control of it. Move forward. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just keep it. Ariani. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two. Carlos Condit's had his way with his opponent so far in this game. And he'll look for more of the same in this round. Yeah, he had his way in that round. Gonna be interesting to see what kind of adjustments his opponent makes in the next. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Half guard. Very nice sweep. Great position. He's got him mounted um, here. Joe, both of them stand up here. Condit with a good jab. He's taking some shots, Mike. Nice counter jab by Condit. Carlos Condit's continuing to punish that wounded eye. And you can see that the swelling continues to get worse and worse. He's absolutely targeting that eye. You can clearly see, and he's landing combinations on it repeatedly. Trying to take him down again. Oh, nice single. Look at that. Oh, Joe, great sweep. Now he's in a dominant position with side control. Good shot to the body. Diaz's damage on his body is very visible, and it continues to get worse. Head kick. Quick jab. Single. Joe, let's see what he tries to do from here. Rubber guard. Into full guard again. Nice punch to the body. And again, he gets back on his feet. Nice block in the counter left hook by Condit. Both men throwing frequently. Oh, double Man, jab. he got oh, right. he tagged him. Boy, he is in big trouble, Mike. Great head kick. Big power jab. Solid right hand. Punches and bunches. He wants to finish. Midway point of the fight. Half guard. And he's got it in guard. Good right by Condit. Covering up, doing a nice job of blocking those shots from the top. Trying to finish it right here. the punch. Strong jab by Condit. It appears the cut on his cheek is getting worse. Condit gets caught by that right. Very nice timing with these shots here. He attempts the single but can't get it. Connected there. 
Again taken down. In the full guard here. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Huge nice left, left shot. Hand. He changes his stance. One minute on the clock here in the second. Oh, double jab. Caught the leg. Caught him. Timed it perfectly. Inside leg kick. Good defense, and he counters with a straight. Nice leg kick there, Joe. Oh, he is landing those leg kicks over and over again. Nice striking. He's hurt, Mike. That was loud. Oh, oh big knee to the body. Head kick! 20 seconds. Big shots. Vicious shots to the body. Oh, that caught him. 10 seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Man, he has landed so much damage that both of his eyes have started to swell now. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Carly getting us set for round three. You ready to fight? Ready. Five Good. minutes remains in the fight. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Hit him with a jab. And again he connects. Nice. Straight left to the body. Great job with the roundhouse. Nice jab. Front kick to the face. Good connection by Condit. Big kick just missed. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Neat with some big knees. Blood dripping. Battle continues. And separate. Condit with the left. Good Safe defense for now. And he scores a single leg takedown. Full guard here. Man, he's got the reversal. He completes the takedown. Condit goes to the half guard. He's got full mount here. Man, he's being tested, but he's back up. Condit with a solid jab. Oh, nice head kick. Good knee to the body by Condit. Caught him with a right hand. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Nice jab. Good defense with the parry. Three minutes remain in this third and final round. Full guard now. Nate Diaz is clearly behind on the judges' scorecards. He needs to look to do something dynamic immediately. He needs to get a submission. He needs to figure out how to get himself into a dominant position and finish this fight. Good jab by Condon. Man, that right eye is really looking swollen. Lands a nice left. 
He was able to block that big punch to the head. Nice hook. Both men scoring points here. Condit with a double jab. Joe, I wouldn't be surprised if he looks to try to set up another takedown. Man, consistent use of the jab. Outstanding. And again with the head kick. Big left, left, left hand. Solid jab. Oh. What an exchange. Big punches. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, he missed that kick. He lands a huge hand. left. Seconds left on the clock. Nice shot. That huge head kick was blocked. Oh! Change of stance. Precise jab by Nate. Oh, and he connects again. He's definitely targeting that cut. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. That's oh, a huge left play. hand. Knee. Those are nasty knees. Oh, knee. He hurts him again with the knee. Oh, he oh. Up. Oh, goodness. That's it. He's out. And He's out. The fight is over. over. Wow. He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Time now for our fight replay. Here we see that again. And here we see it again. Boom! And then he's out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. Wins by knockout. versatile fighters to ever enter the octagon. Very elusive, yet highly effective. His footwork is as good as anyone to ever go to battle, and he puts it on display every time he fights in the UFC. Dominic Cruz steps inside the octagon 
and he's ready to fight. Bruce Lee, ready to go to battle once again inside the octagon. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Bruce Lee enters the octagon, ready to go to battle at 135. Our tail of the tape for this bantamweight battle. Both of the fighters are 31. Cruz is one inch tall. Lee will have a four inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. It's Missy Burks fighting at the new corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record on 22 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. And now he comes to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's Here go. we go! Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Cruz. Blue trunks for Lee. Dominic Cruz has perhaps the most creative footwork we've ever seen inside the octagon. He has tremendous cardio and work ethic, as well as a very intelligent game plan for every fight that he enters. Strong right by Lee. And he parries that shot. Hard one to the body. Big battle early. He lands a head kick. Oh, oh. combination. Oh. Oh, he's landing. Beautiful body shot there, too. Nice head kick. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. Good defense with the parry. Nice right hand. Lee with a strong combination. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. Huge elbow from the top. Beautiful punch. That one connected. Oh! Man, he connects with the knee. Oh, that hook did damage. Big shot. Oh, did he snap that kick? Combination. Powerful right hand. Vicious combination. Wow. Boy, he's in big trouble, Mike. Wow. Oh. He's out. It's over. It's over. Huge hook that got him the victory. Time now for our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly hurt badly here. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. Boom! Right on the button. 
And here he is with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Bruce Lee, winner by knockout. It's a women's bantamweight matchup between Rowdy, Ronda Rousey, and Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes, making her way out of the tunnel. She feels like she has all the tools to come away with a big victory tonight. This girl has excellent footwork. It's one of her strongest qualities. She is very difficult to hit, and she can close the distance and hit you very quickly. Very tough to train with anybody who can emulate the type of footwork that she possesses. Amanda Nunes enters the octagon, ready to go to bat. in Beijing at age 21 and now is considered by many the most dangerous unarmed woman in the world today. Ronda Rousey was a bronze medalist in the Olympics in judo and has one of the best arm bars in the history of combat sports. Ronda Rousey set to go to bat with Amanda, lioness of the ring, Nunez. Tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight fight. Nunez is 27. Rousey is 29. Nunez will have a one-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. That's a big division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A mixed martial artist on a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Body got of Miami, Florida, Amanda, the Lioness, Nunez! And now, using her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a judo fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, 1 loss. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Eve Levine, our referee for this women's bantamweight matchup. And here we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Nunez. Black trunks for Rousey. Head kick. Nice shot. And another one lands to the head. Shot to the body. Nice leg kick. Flying all over the place early. Big shot. Joe, her hands look great tonight. Solid jab. Good pro fighters always move well side to side. Went for the head kick. Wow. Nunes checks the leg kick. And there's another very nice kick. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Good scramble. Nunes with a straight that scores. Very nicely done. Oh, 
this place is about to erupt. This is a Ronda Rousey crowd. Look at this. Good job of timing strikes here. Nice hook to the body. She moved the southpaw here, right hand forward. And she completes the single. Good connection by Rousey. She's now back to half guard. Good scramble. Nice jab. Oh, good shots. That's outstanding defense. Nunez, his right eye, is starting to swell up. Good inside leg kick. Big roundhouse kick. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Rousey caught by that head kick. Oh! Beautiful! Trying to stay out of trouble here. Swing and a miss. Look at this, takedown! Wow, she's back up again. Head kick, nicely done. Joe, she's really showcasing her striking skills. Nunes with a good left hook to the body. High kick. Strong hook to the body by Nunes. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Nunes with some big kicks. Right hand just missed. And she times her strikes again. Nice, oh, nice uppercut right there. Rousey with a strong combination. Nice body shot. Two minutes remain in this round. Switching things up a little bit. Good jab. Nicely done. Good Safe defense. for now. Tries to pass, but cannot. Perfectly executed sweep, and she winds up inside control. There's the right. Back to side control. She moves to full guard. Rousey gets back up again. He found a home for that. Very nice. Rousey with a good punch. Joe and she lands another big takedown. Dominant with her wrestling tonight. Nice inside, inside side kick, one yeah. there. Big kick just missed. And there's a nice left hook to the body. Joe, she's really staying busy on her feet. I'm gonna try to complete the takedown again. Nice left hand. Rousey gets back up again. She might be trying to set up another takedown here. Great exchanges. Huge block. Nice. Very good job of timing these shots here. There's that takedown attempt. She's been dominant with her takedown skills. Putting her opponent on her back again. Throws to finish, Joe. Head kick. Nunez with a solid jab. Both of her eyes are looking pretty swollen now. Great job with the roundhouse. Uppercut. Quick slip of the right. Nunez with another takedown. That's the end of round number one. Great performance by both fighters in that round, Joe. This is turning into a very intriguing matchup. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here is another very nice takedown. Muito bom. Você estava excelente nesse round. Marcou com as quedas, fez pontos e ganhou um round. Agora se prepara. The beautiful Jen. Ready? Ready? Round two. Comes out swinging. Nunez with a good knee to the body. Oh, that's a great block of the punch. Nice, nice left, left punch. hand. Oh, 
Hard straight punch. Back and forth battle. Great straight by Rousey. Joshi's really starting to connect with that jab here in the second round. No doubt about it, Mike. I don't think there could be any debate. Solid left by Rousey. Good combinations landing here. The huge head kick is blocked. And here we see the number of total strikes landed so far in the fight. Oh! Wow! This could be it! Combination! Jab. Vicious combination. Oh, Joe, another strong jab. Big shots. Look at that. Oh, oh my. Oh. Back up. Oh, That's a good shot right there. Very good shot. Nice takedown. Back up. Left misses. Nunes with a kick to the midsection. Oh, double jab. Rousey's body continues to get punched. There is some serious bruising. Misses with the kick. Front kick to the face. And there's a takedown attempt. She's really mixing things up nicely. Beautiful jab. Jab, jab. Looking for another one of those big right hands. Clean head kick lands. Wow! wow! Trying to finish this fight! Oh, she heard her there, Mike. She heard her. Vicious combinations. Big straight punch. Good elbow. Powerful strikes. Nice shot to the body. That's a big inside leg kick. She switches up her stance here. Great jab by Rousey. Oh, nice karate kick. Joshi continues to land those jabs. She's been very effective tonight. Excellent job of timing these combinations. Joe, she's found an opening, and she continues to throw leg kicks, and they're starting to do a bit of damage. Oh, she connects once again, and Joe, she does so right where her opponent is already cut. Nunez counters with the left. And they break free. Right kick. Right hand. Shoots in for the takedown. Nunez with the strong takedown. And she's back up again. Nunez with a good connection. Oh! oh! Hard diving punch. And again she gets back up. Mike, because that is extraordinary. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but missed. Nunez with the combination. Nice block of the punch to the head. And another good hook by Nunez. And looking for the takedown again. They have fought for 10 minutes. That's the end of round number two. Two big knockdowns scored in that round from Amanda Nunes. Two huge knockdowns. Very, very dominant round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown.
Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Carly getting a set for round three. with a nice jab. That huge head kick was blocked. There's a double jab by Nunez. Look at the knockdowns landed so far in this fight. Man, both of her eyes have started to swell very badly. You've got to wonder about her vision. Joe, good dirty boxing from the clinch. Oh, nice. Vicious knees. Kick misses. Oh! Looking for the big finishing punch. Head kick. Nunez with a solid straight right. Very good exchanges here. She moves to the tie clinch. Clean knees. Wow. Oh, another knee. Vicious knees. Powerful knee to the head lands. Wow. Oh! It's all over! It's Ronda it. Rousey! Just like that! Wow! 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 Huge KO by knee. Once again, here's our fight replay. Let's take one more look at this huge knee that causes the knockout. Right on the money. And that's the end of this fight. Let's see it from a different angle here. Massive power and torque behind that knee. And as soon as it lands, that is a wrap. Great angle here. Right on the button. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Rowdy Ronda Rousey! Rowdy Ronda Rousey wins by knockout. It's a heavyweight showcase between Mike Tyson and heavyweight king, Cain Velasquez. They call him Cardio Cain Velasquez because of his ability to fight at a high pace for 25 minutes. A pressure fighter who will never avoid the brawl, likes to control his opponents and dictate where the fight takes place. And he'll look to do it again tonight. Cain Velasquez is one of the deadliest heavyweights on the planet, Mike. He has knockout power in those hands, solid wrestling skills if he decides to take the fight to the ground or if he wants to keep the fight standing. Cain Velasquez enters the octagon and he's ready to fight. Iron Mike Tyson, the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, and Joe, the youngest boxer, to win the WBC, WBA, and IBF heavyweight titles, ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here in the octagon. We know he has tremendous knockout power and is really starting to round out his entire skill set for mixed martial arts. The former baddest man on the planet wants to send a message to all the fighters tonight. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. 
Mike Tyson is ready to collide with Cain Velasquez. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Velasquez is 33. Tyson is 37. Velasquez will have a six inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Mike Tyson. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee for this heavyweight fight here Ready? tonight at the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Three-round fight. White trunks for Velasquez. Black trunks for Tyson. Cain Velasquez has the best cardio we have ever seen in the history of the UFC's heavyweight division. He is also a world-class wrestler with fantastic technical striking. Good job blocking the punch. Manny's using his jab well in this fight. Really good job landing that series of punches. Solid leg kick by Velasquez. Oh, oh nice uppercut. uppercut. Turning into an all-out slugfest. Big punches. Oh. Oh, he completes oh, the suplex. wrestling right there. He's moved to full guard. Swing and a miss. Oh. Oh, big right hand clipped him. There's a left that connects. And he got blocked with a left. left hand. Trying to finish his fight wow. quickly. strike here to end the fight early in the first. Once again, here's our fight replay. And as we can see here in the replay, it was the hook that ended this fight. And here it is again. Here it is one more time. Boom! And then he's out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson, victorious with the knockout. Welterweight matchup between Don Cowboy Cerrone and the Karate Kid. Steven Thompson, coming off a great training camp, he is very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to run right through his opponent. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with.
Tristan Thompson enters the octagon. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, who has won the majority of his fights by submission. But for those who have watched Donald Cerrone fight during his career, we know how dangerous he is on his feet. His kicks are lethal. He puts together great combinations, and that often has led him to the submission finish. They call him the Cowboy, Donald Cerrone. Donald Cerrone is a well-rounded fighter with great submissions and great Muay Thai. He's extremely difficult to finish, a lot of heart, great chin, and he fights very well in the later rounds. Donald Cerrone enters the octagon looking for the victory. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters are 32. Cerrone is one inch taller. Thompson will have a two inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 31 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this welterweight matchup. Here tonight at the O2 Arena in London, England. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Thompson. Black trunks for Cerrone. Donald Cerrone's great at everything. His Muay Thai's on point. One of the things to look out for, though, is his knee strikes, particularly the check knee when guys are coming in. Thompson with a punch that connects. That huge head kick was blocked. Cerrone gets the early takedown. Back to their feet. It's a nice jab there, Joe. Softening his opponent up. The huge head kick is blocked. Joe, his jab, very effective in the fight. He connects with the left. Oh! What an exchange! Big shot! Oh, beautiful know. uppercut. Yep. Oh, he's landing. Oh, big, big head kick in, Joe. Oh, that's a vicious kick. Solid jab. Nice takedown. Blocking the head kick. Punishing roundhouse kick. Strong jab by Thompson. Nice combination. Beautiful job by Cerrone and mixing it up there. Oh, and he goes on top of the kick. Oh, big kick. Oh, look at that. Oh, Clipped him. 
could be it. Now he's oh. looking to finish. Oh, he rocked him. Unbelievable. It is all over. Outstanding timing and accuracy for a knockout victory. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's see that from another angle. Here it is one more time. Boom! And then he's out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, winner by knockout. Once again, inside the octagon. This guy has nasty chokes. His ability to cinch up a choke and finish it from any position is truly elite. in the UFC's featherweight division today. He is also one of the most loved fighters to ever come out of Ireland. Conor McGregor is ready to go to battle in our main event of the evening. take for this lightweight fight both of our fighters are 27 mcgregor will have a two inch reach advantage once again here's the veteran voice of the octagon bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge eve Buffett. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's an easy first fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist for the professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist for the professional record of 20 wins.
she wins three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Island, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, protect yourself at all time, but be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. What a build-up to this fight. Back and forth. Bad blood. Both men ready to battle. Both men ready? ready to leave it all you in ready? the octagon. Fight. And here we go! Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Boya. Black trunks for McGregor. One thing to look out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. Good hands. Really mixing things up. Nice, oh, nice. nice kick. He blocks the punch. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Going for the takedown here. For Gregor's pass denied. Trying to take the back here. He's got him inside control. Nice right hand. Can't connect with the jab. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Man, he gets some torque on that hook. Nice job keeping those hands busy. And he connects with the hook again. Oh, flying knee! Strong jab. Oh, what an exchange! Great head kick. That's a big hook. Oh, he is just teeing off here. Oh. Big right hand. With the right hand. Oh, he's landing. <laughs> Powerful jab. Oh, oh head kick. with the kick. Oh, and another one. That hurt. Look at this. Big punch. And a good big right hand shot counter. with the left. Oh, he's taking the left. Finish this fight. Head kick. Nice jab. Big combination. He's going to try to take the back. Big right with the right hand. hand. Outstanding! It is all oh. over! He landed a huge barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Time now for our fight replay. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And here we see one more time, big shots unanswered, not defending himself. The referee comes in to save him. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee leaves the ring. That's what will stop for this contest. At one minute, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO. Victorious by TKO.